I strongly believe that um, for the moment we have to show to Italy and to Spain that we are solid. It's really a fact of doing everything to avoid a social crisis who might happen not only in both countries but they are the most hit it and there was also discussions about grants and loans should we just give money should we um, give more credits but uh, you know that if there is credit where they won't be able to pay back there is no use to do it and even you will worsen the situation for the, for those uh, for those countries so and in greece i i remember how painful it was for greece you know when you have to tell to to pensioners that uh, they will get the pensions cut when you have to tell to people who worked uh, their whole life that they will get less money that when you have to cut salaries Okay, we have to do structural reforms, but I think that the coronavirus crisis and the answer cannot be you have to change this and this and this in your country. The answer should be today, we are solidar, you are in a crisis and we are going to help because we know that this solidarity, it's not for free, to be honest, because I know that for Luxembourg, but I know for also the other countries, if two big countries are collapsing, it will be bad for all of us. And Prime Minister, you're a savvy political player. I'm curious about the tea leaves on the Frugal Four and also on Budapest. So there's said to be some opposition from these particular quarters. Madame Lagarde over the ECB yesterday said she thought this recovery fund will get done. But what would you say about the level of opposition, particularly from the Frugal Four? So we have, we have the problem is we have lots of critical points, to be honest. We have, because we didn't speak now about the, the rabbits, but we also have the rabbits, which were given to the UK in Fontainebleau. So now having the UK leaving uh, the European Union, it's strange still to have an advantage that the European Union gave to the, the UK and still to give it to other countries. But the fact is, some things. The frugal force, it's not an political union, because you have uh, some Christian Democrats from uh, Austria with the Greens in the government, you have some socialists uh, in uh, Sweden with Greens in the government, you have the Danish socialists, and then you have uh, also the liberals from Holland with the Christian Democrats. So it's not, an, it's, it's what we could call an, not a political alliance, it is really a transnational alliance. I don't know exactly the, the reasons, if it's to put this on the table because they still want the, the rabbi or other topics. But the fact is, we need to be solid there and we, we need to have roots. So I, I think that the, the truth is between all of those. But on the other hand, we have countries who say that we are not allowed to speak about um, the rule of law. And when I see what's uh, happening about the rule of law or even um, some uh, positions that have been taken in the last months uh, and weeks about minority rights in some countries, I think we should not forget that the European Union is uh, not only an economic or finance market or market of goods, it's also values. And I think this is the backbone of this European Union. And if we consider that we cannot speak about values, although we don't need to respect values, I don't need to spend my time in Brussels.